We go to St. Albans with the start of baseball. Bob White's hosting the CVU Red Hawks. Pick things up in the fifth inning. Aaron Parent on the mound strikes out the first batter with the breaking ball. Next batter sits him down. Fastball. Finally, Parent gets the last batter just straight up looking. That will end the inning, striking out the side. In the top of the sixth inning, Red Hawks threatening with a man on third. Pitch gets away from the catcher. Tyler Skalstad slides in safely to make it a 5-0 lead for the Hawks. Later in that inning, two on for Parent, who's just going to go ahead and help his own cause. Rips a two-run single into right. Champlain Valley will cruise to the win in this one, 8-2. Right next door at the softball field, same two teams meeting up, Red Hawks and the Comets. Early on, some nice defense from Avery Dodlin. Anticipates the bunt there to catch the pop-up and get their team out of the inning. It was a pitcher's duel most of the way. CVU's Riley Canty gets the batter swinging. On the other side, Marion McGinn. She does the same scoreless through three and a half innings. So you know there's something coming in the bottom of the fourth. Let's get right there. Comets finally breaking through. Paige Chakoy rips a base hit to left field. Plates a pair of runs. BFA has a 2-0 lead. We go all the way to the top of the sixth now. Same score. CVU is going to get down the bunt with a man on third. McGinn, smart play to go right back home for the out. She gets the shutout. Comets get the win, 2 nothing. We continue with the busy day in BFA as they also hosted St. Johnsbury in girls lacrosse. Right off the bat, Shelby Lang sneaks her way through the hilltop. Her defense puts it home. It's a 1-0 lead for the Comets just 13 seconds in. 25 seconds later, St. Jay with the counterpunch. Polly Courier scores to level the game at one apiece, but the Comets soar right back in front. Elena Clark with a nice move around the defender and finishes up close for a 2-1 lead back in front. Again, the Hilltoppers respond with a run. Ansley Larson converts from the free position. Moments later, Courier back for more, gets a goal. Finally, Ella Sepatelli finishes off with, yes, another one. Hilltoppers get a two-goal lead and hang on to win this one by a final of 19-15.